what is up you guys i'm so excited for this live i am so excited right now we're talking about something all of you ladies already know we're talking about the standard american basic bitch diet that every girl know works and every girl does all the time so this whole thing was born out of a conversation I was having with a client. We were, somehow we were joking and I was talking to a client and we're talking about how she, she brought up all of the things that she had done prior to working with me. And she was unsuccessful at losing weight and now we've lost over 20 pounds. And she was just like, I don't know why I was doing what I saw everyone else doing at the gym. So we turned that into, well, like every girl knows like how you lose weight it is literally the standard american basic bitch diet you eat really like skinny like really low calorie like salad hold the dressing maybe a little grilled chicken definitely no croutons and then you do cardio as much as your schedule allows as much as you can so the standard american basic bitch diet is eat as little as possible and do as much cardio as possible and da, you get your dream body but the issue is, if it was that easy, if it was as straightforward as every girl is convinced it is, I have to eat low calorie and I have to do a lot of cardio to get my dream body and lose weight, would any girl you have ever met or see in the gym have any issue losing weight? I don't think so. Nobody would. Because if it was as simple as eat low calorie and do a lot of cardio, no woman ever would have a weight loss problem because we have all gotten that memo and we have all tried it. And if it's not working, it's because you're eating a little bit too much. So you just got to eat a little bit less, put a little bit more vigor into your cardio and by golly, it's going to work. Again, if it was that simple, it would have worked by now. And that's what I was talking about yesterday in my post. It's a transformation. Those pictures yesterday I posted, the first one, my, well, that was my first set of progress photos ever. And the other one was taken a few weeks ago, like probably eight years apart. So the only, not the only, there was a lot of things that went into that, but to keep it simple is the biggest thing that transferred me from my before photos, which a lot of you have seen, to my after photos or where I am now was not lowering calories or doing a ton of cardio. It was my mindset. It was me finally thinking, all right, what I'm doing isn't working and it really hasn't worked. And I know a lot of other girls doing exactly what I'm doing. You know, we eat skinny all the time and do like tons of cardio and none of us are losing weight. I was like, okay, clearly I'm missing something. So the biggest step was to question the belief I held so certain to be true that I knew how to lose weight. I knew I had to eat low calorie and I knew I had to do a lot of cardio. I just wasn't doing it right. Something was missing. That's where I started challenging my belief. I'm like, if it was this simple, every woman would have their dream body. This would not be an issue. So I started questioning things. Like another conversation I had recently with a client where she had a former history of binge eating. I was like, you know, binge eating wasn't the problem. The problem was so restrictive calories that binge eating was your short term solution to the problem. So it's just switching your mindset about she goes, my problem used to be, you know, binging on the weekends. Like, I don't think that was your problem. I think your problem was being so restrictive with your calories and being so hungry all the time that you found a solution that only worked in the short term, but then it ended up not being conducive to your long term goals. So it was this like crazy cycle. So the biggest thing we need to do to break up with the standard American basic bitch diet of eat less and do lots of cardio because it's clearly not working is challenge your mindset. Can you say, what if that's not the only thing I need to do? What if that's not working for me? What else can I do? It's first challenging your mindset about what you know to be true. I get on calls all the time and what, especially with these girls they are like, I know I do best with low carb. I'm like, okay. Can you tell me how you got there? Why do you feel like that? Has it worked before? Well, it's never worked, but I just know. And I'm like, if you do best with lots of cardio and low carb, why are we even on a call? 
It's not, it's not about saying, I know what's right and you know what's wrong. It's about saying, what if we tried? What has worked? What is not? Where are you trying to go? It's more about putting pieces together, unique to you, instead of saying, low calorie, lots of cardio, that's how I lose weight because it works for everybody. Because it's not that simple. It doesn't work for everybody. It works for almost nobody. Or if at least it worked initially, it eventually stopped working. The low calorie and the lots of cardio will eventually stop working. I know this because I lived it and it stopped working. So let's, let's use an analogy because everyone knows Hannah loves her analogies. So I was thinking of one for this the other day because I'm just I'm so excited about doing this live. Can you tell I'm just super jazzed? Um, I was thinking, all right, let's say we have a long weight loss journey ahead of us. It's maybe like trying to drive across the country. So we hop in our car and we just start driving across the country. So you want to lose weight, you just start eating less and you just go to the gym. You just go for it. If our car is in okay condition, we've, we've treated it with moderate respect. It's all right. It has some gas in the tank. You know, there's some oil in there. It has all four tires. We're doing all right. We're going to get part of the way. Same thing with your body. If you haven't treated it like complete trash and garbage for years and years and years, when you drop, when you start eating a little bit healthier, maybe eat a little bit less and you start hitting the gym, you're going to get a little closer to the destination. You're going to start making progress, much like if you were driving across the country, you'd be getting closer to your destination. But eventually, the car will stop if you never put in gas. Eventually, your body will stop responding if you never give it fuel. Eventually, if you treat your tool of transportation to get you to where you want to go, if you treat your body like crap, even though you're trying to get your body to go somewhere else, it's going to stop unless we stop for tune-ups, fuel it up, rotate the tires, scrape those damn bugs off the windshield, things like that. So if you've treated your car like crap, you don't have any oil, you run out of gas, you've never gotten the tires rotated or air put in them, eventually, if you are trying to go across the country and you've just done pedal to the metal the whole time, eventually the car is going to stop. Eventually, you're probably going to lose a wheel. You might end up in a ditch somewhere because you have been convinced all you need to do is keep driving. Never abandon ship. Just keep driving and I will get to my destination. Eventually, you are going to break down if you never take a break and refuel your mode of transportation, then you're stuck on the side of the road wondering why you see other people in cars that look in a lot better condition getting where you are trying to go and faster. You're like, what the hell? And you're sitting on the car on the side of the road in a junker that's missing a wheel and smoking and you're like, damn it, shit. So that's like if you start a weight loss journey and you just go pedal to the metal the whole time, you're gonna break. I broke. A lot of girls come to me, they've broken. It's because we need to break up with the mindset of just low calorie and do as much cardio as you can because that's a, it's, that's a fiery combination. When you eat low calorie, it can work if that's new for your body, but your body's smart. It's going to adapt. It is going to drop its energy use. So it's going to match your low calorie by saying, okay, no problem. I'm going to match my energy use we're going to break even. Same thing with you doing cardio. So the plan just has to be a little bit more involved than that. My hallmark with all my clients and how I really feel like the magic secret for weight loss is, is do as much, I'm sorry, do as little cardio as possible and eat as much as possible for as long as possible while you're still losing weight. And that's how you get results. Because what you want to do is keep as much gas in your tank as you can if you have a really long journey ahead so that when you start running low on gas, you still have some gas in the tank. If you start your journey to drive across the country with a quarter of a tank of gas, you're not going to get very far. If you start it with a full tank of gas, you will get much farther. And then when the stores start to run low, that's when we maybe would do something you hear people call like a diet break or a refeed. You get some gas back in the tank and then you get to keep going. So it is so much less straightforward than do a ton of cardio and don't eat much at all and don't complain about it because you are happy and you are skinny because at the end of the day, you are not happy, you are cranky, you are hungry, you're probably not as skinny as you want because you're not weightlifting. 
the formula you are using for weight loss, that standard American basic bitch, low calorie, skinny, everything, I do a ton of cardio on the elliptical after work all the time diet, just isn't working. Sometimes you just do that because that's just what you know to do and it's easy. And in reality, thinking of trying to do anything else is so overwhelming because on social media, I could spend 10 minutes on here and be like, what the hell? Like, sugar's good, sugar's bad, carbs are good, carbs are bad, cardio's good, cardio's bad, lifting's good, lifting's bad. It's so contradictory and it's overwhelming. So I get it, but just start questioning your own beliefs. Questioning what you know to be true, if what you know to be true isn't really working for you. That's the first thing, is figure out what has worked for you, what things that you actually do that you like, that you think are totally right. And then what's missing? That's where an extra set of eyes, maybe hiring a coach, a <laughs> shameless plug, what's up, is essential to help you ask those things and be objective when it comes to you. That's why even coaches like myself hire other coaches when we have fat loss goals, especially us ladies, we are so emotionally invested in our own progress that we can't see what's happening objectively. We are so emotionally charged that it's like trying to rationalize someone who is PMSing and all she wants is chocolate. You know you can't get through to her rationally. That's like a woman trying to assess her own weight loss progress. It's really hard, but if what you're doing is not working, the first thing you can do is take a step back and start asking some questions because low calorie and cardio is not the key for everyone. Otherwise, every woman would already have her dream body. It just, it's, it's that simple and not that simple at the same time. So if you guys have any questions, start dropping them in below. I really just wanted to shed some light on, it's not about eat less and work harder because no woman would have a weight problem if it was that simple. I just want your wheels to start turning. I want you to start asking some questions, challenging your own beliefs. Can you prove yourself wrong? That's the biggest thing. Just start asking questions. The reason social media is so confusing and so is diet culture and there's not one clear superior diet is because there's not. It's because you have to figure out what makes you tick. I have some clients who do a lot better eating more fats than carbohydrates because that's their flavor preferences. I have other clients who just don't do as well on high fats and they just burn through all these carbs. I have, I have a, I had a client call last night. She is in school, in grad school. She teaches full time. Her boyfriend doesn't like have a very forgiving job as far as schedule goes. So she is very, very tight scheduled to the seam. So it's not do, do more work, work harder but sacrifice sleep, but make sure you're resting and getting all your exercise and eat less and work hard. It's not that, it's saying, okay, what's working? What's not working? How can we fix some of these things to make more things work? It's about asking questions, not being afraid to fail and learning from what doesn't work and then trying something different. All I wanna do is open your eyes a little bit, challenge your beliefs, open up your mind a bit and just question if what you're doing is really the best way to get what you want. Just start asking yourself that question. If you want my help, comment below after um, I get off here or shoot me a DM, you guys. You know I'm here to help you. And also, because you hung out this whole time, I have a little surprise. I know a lot of you after this, you're like, well, okay, if I don't eat low calorie, maybe I need to eat maintenance calories for a while. So then you go to Google and you find an online calculator and you plug in maintenance calories. Then you just want to cross reference. So you do a second one and then a third and you realize none of the online calculators match. It's frustrating as hell. So I'm going live in my fitness and foodies eating cake Facebook group only. So only my Facebook groupies get that live this coming Sunday afternoon. So if you are not in that group and that live has your name all over it, DM me and I'll make sure you get that link. But thank you guys so much for watching. Really just start asking questions. If it was as simple as eat less and do more cardio, would any girl have a weight problem? Probably not. Just Food for thought. Let me know what you guys think. Seriously, drop some comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this.